Well, it is one of the longest running and most beloved mm -hmm. stage shows of all time, and it is back in Toronto. Of course, we're talking about the Phantom of the Opera, and it's at the Princess of Wales that is haunting it. And Roger got inside along with some lucky really Ryerson haunting. students. It's hauntingly beautiful. It's hauntingly yeah, it's beautiful. It's such as they have a new set. Uh, a redesign with it. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. We, we went with these Ryerson students, including yeah. Caroline O'Brien. She's the professor there. And uh, they had a chance to meet up with the people who are involved in this, including talking uh, to uh, Derek Davis as well, who is, the, who is the Phantom. And we'll get to that in a little bit. But Carolyn actually was in the first production in 1989. She was one of the uh, costume designers and helped design some of the costumes. Ooh, and look at that chandelier, by the way. Oof. Let's, uh, let's hear from Caroline about designing that costume. Uh, it's a bit nostalgic looking at all the things and knowing that it was one of the first jobs that I ever had. And have you seen any of the costumes that you're looking I think I might have made. <laughs> did you make, help make that one? Definitely did that one, yes. How can you tell? Uh, I remember the bodice. I remember how we had to cut each different panel and how it was all put together emblazoned. <laughs> did you know you were working on such an iconic show? Um, I didn't. And I think I never really think about that when I'm working on anything. And it's, uh, it's always just the next job and the next thing that we commit to. And we got to go back to the chandelier for yes. a second. I, uh, this is absolutely incredible. This is the new version of it. 30,000 crystals in it. Wow. 30,000, 2,500 pounds it weighs. There's gold leaf in it. It travels as is. So when they this is the they don't uh, dissemble it. this yeah. is the touring show so it, they don't take it apart it stays like that and uh, when it drops of course that's the, the famous scene the iconic mm -hmm. scene when it drops at uh, three meters a second so it comes down in a hurry real quick yeah and uh, they were talking about uh, some kids that were in Baltimore had not seen the play before and so when the chandelier <laughs> dropped surprise it was very very authentic to them so it is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, again, the sets we were talking about. Now, the Ryerson students who were there with uh, Professor O'Brien, uh, it's a chance they're in the uh, production classes at Ryerson, and it was a great chance for them to get behind the scenes, and they loved this experience. I always really wanted to work on this show, and just seeing all the behind the scenes and the work that goes through it definitely makes me want to work on it even more. And the fact that like, this is a touring company as well, that they bring all these giant set pieces and all this like, extremely hard work, just everywhere, it's truly amazing and really like makes me want to do all of these. Meeting some of our former students and the people who work on the show, it makes them believe that yeah, it's possible. We can we can actually do the work we want to do. It's as big as it gets. Since 1989 is when it graced the yes. stage here in Toronto. 31 years. It's a timeless story. Absolutely, and it is absolutely beautiful. And the transition between the sets and that is incredible. Now. Along with the Ryerson students and, and getting some information about behind the scenes, they also had a chance to meet up with Derek Davis, who plays the Phantom. He is magnificent in this, and we had a chance to talk to him. And he said he saw this when he was young with his mother. Cool. And his mom knew what was to come. She called it? Yeah, take a listen. One of the things she told me was, you're going to play the Phantom. And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and there's no people of color playing the Phantom. This is before Norm Lewis, obviously after Robert Guillaume, but I had no reference, you know? And it's just magic. It's, I could not have dreamt this. I'm flying her and my father in to, to see the final performance. We are one of the most multicultural cities in the world. It must be an incredible feeling being able to play it here. It's, it's wonderful. It's wonderful to be here. Just as soon as I landed, I felt like I was at home. And I keep telling everybody back in the States, may not be coming back. <laughs> And we want to have him. He, he's absolutely wonderful in the show. But uh, And Derek was saying, this is the last show. Mm -hmm. It's the end of the tour, the last show in Toronto. What does that mean to have the production close here? Because as we said, it was so iconic to have this yes. open in 1989. And uh, we asked him what it was like to end it here in Toronto. It's an honor. It's a privilege for them to have asked me to come back to close out the show. This is one of the creative team's favorite theaters in the world. And so that's why they wanted us to close it here with you all. And so just to get the opportunity to do that is a dream come true on top of a dream come true. How's that going to feel when it closes out? I can't think about it. Honestly, immediately, a, a lump <laughs> in my throat because I've, I've grown so close to the character and to the people that I've worked with. We build a family, we travel from city to city together and we start out in the city with just us, you know? And so to have to part ways and go on our separate journeys is gonna be difficult. See it again. It's beautiful, it yeah, really is. It. Yeah, I really did, I, I, I hadn't seen it in years. 
uh, and with the new set and uh, Derek is the Phantom and uh, Christine as well. It's such a wonderful cast. Stunning. It's absolutely gorgeous to watch. Short run though. It's only sure at the, uh, now, of course, it was at the Pantages in 1989. Now it's at the Princess of Wales, Wales Theater. Theater. And it's only there until fe fe uh, February the 2nd. So, so go check it out. And there's yep. a reason why Toronto is a favorite. And Mervish does such a beautiful job yep. at it. So go check it out. Yep. Only till February 2nd at the Princess of Wales Theater. Time We're going to take a quick curtain call. We'll be back after this. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs>